can suspect the little goats will be in their house. Yep, there's one. Here's the other one. I have to keep this door closed because this one can get out. He's a nice goat. This one here, that one there, he don't want to talk to nobody. They're like, hey, is that hay or not hay? No hay, is there any hay there? I can't tell. Looks like hay, I don't know. If I was to bring in some fresh hay though, they'd go after it. Something about that hay, they don't like it. I've got this, uh, I got this. We just use this for bedding mostly. They don't hardly really want this. Looks like hay, but they don't want it. You want that? But I got this other hay. Actually, I don't have any in here. I'll have to go out and get some. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about really was this. I made this feeder, hay feeder. I've been just putting that hay on the ground. You're supposed to put it in a feeder like this here. And the thing about it is you can buy these for a hundred bucks. You know, if you're working a nine to five, just buy it. But I'm not, I'm retired, so I made it. So basically it costed about $7 to make it. A little more, but a little more. But this, actually this I think is, these bars was seven fifty. I think. This is EMT, electrical EMT. I don't think you'll find anything cheaper than that. I was thinking about using a fence, but I couldn't find one that was the right size. And uh, come to think of it, I think they usually do these vertical. Just occurs to me, these are usually vertical. But I think you could do them horizontal. I don't know, we'll find out. Huh, it just now occurs to me, usually them things is vertical. Well, we'll see. Another thing, these, I bought these, and uh, I did, I was going to put these bars on the other side of this thing but then when I went to install it they ended up on this side and then they had a burr on the end where I cut it chop it with a abrasive blade and so I put I moved this out so it covered up that burr don't want your animals getting cut and the rest of this wood or the wood is some of it's new but it's really it was so crooked you couldn't hardly use it for anything else and uh, so I consider the wood to be basically free. I'll have to look and see now how... It just occurs to me those are usually vertical. Well, I'll go ahead and install it and we'll put some feed in there and see what happens. So I searched up for pictures for this uh, video and of course I find them now cheaper. Before I was looking they were all a hundred bucks. Here's one for a horse that's a hundred. But uh, they're all vertical. That was something I uh, didn't do right. I need to make them vertical, apparently. So I hung it on the wall. It's funny how big it looks in here. This go looks real friendly, but watch this. It doesn't want. It doesn't want to get caught. So. Uh, and I brought in some hay. This is hay I bought. I think it might have alfalfa. I think that might be alfalfa. If you can I think that's alfalfa. They like it. They like it. It doesn't cost a heck of a lot. But then you but on the other hand, it disappears. You know what I mean? You buy it, you think you've done a good thing, but after a while, it's all gone. gone. And then on the other hand, it's a miracle. We can live off that. There you go. See, can you get that? Can you get that stuff? You're going to give it a shot, aren't you? I'll try. Let's see. 
smells good. Oh, don't be mean. I had another goat in here that was that was really mean. He was bigger. I got rid of him. He went on his way. Is that goat mean to you? Is that other goat mean to you? Yeah, you gotta have all the food, don't you? I'll give you a little bit. Although I, it seems to me that after a while that one goat's gonna get full more or less. And uh, this goat here likes these strands. I think he likes these. Boy, it's got a, this bale has a lot of alfalfa in it. Looks like the other bales didn't have that much. Let's give him a little. He's a Get away, you get your own, idiot. You got your own, you just chased him away, so now you gotta... Go on. I'm gonna catch you. I'll catch you. I'm gonna catch you. He's quick to try and catch him. It's really cool. That See, he gets, oh, he just gets, stays out of reach. Get out of here, you idiot. Let's go to the kitchen. You got food right there. It's a little trickier. See, I need, uh, I'm supposed to have a pan underneath of it. But I figure, I don't know. Outdoors, if it's outdoors, I definitely have a pen. You can see it, all the leaves are falling down. It seems like they could pick it up off of the... The leaves would fall down and pick it up off of there, it seems like. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good, I like that. I'm liking it. See, he tends to eat the sticks more. He's going for the... This one here is eating it right out, right out of there. Just Fine, like it was a plate, like it was a plate of food. There you go. See, it's all that stuff's falling right there. This might be one reason they don't do horizontal. The goat's able to defeat the purpose, although <clears throat> you can also do a horse one where the, he does reach in like that. So it's not really a defeat, but it's kind of funny. They find an easier way. And um, boy, anything you do with animals too, they're you always got to think about how they're going to beat it up, misuse it and stuff. I need to make another one, and she won't. She won't let him eat until she's done, because she's bigger than he is. And uh, <clears throat> I need to make an outdoor one with uh, use verticals and like a V. And then for underneath, for the pan, I could probably use one of the, incidentally, this, this hay's got a lot of alfalfa. See all that alfalfa? This particular bale especially has a lot of alfalfa. He didn't sell it as alfalfa hay, but I think I, got, I need to get more of that. I think I've got a pan out here somewhere that I could show. There it is. 
So I could probably use this for a pan underneath, and then it could be removed and dumped, and then have a V-shaped, probably this way, going like this, over it for the feeder, and then those little goats won't bust that pan. So this is the hay. This that, this doesn't have as much alfalfa in it. So that one bale just had a lot of alfalfa. This has got some, but not as much. was getting my ducks. I've only got two. I had a dozen. I put this net over to try and keep the owls out. And also I put them in that pan at night. But I wait till uh, just till I go to bed. I don't worry about it at dusk anymore because this net might could leave them out all night. I don't know. I did lose one which I didn't have that very top covered right there. The only way we can figure out he got in, or possibly this side, but see this side, no, I guess I did fix that a little bit. But yeah, I lost one after I put this net up. After all this was up. You couldn't put the chickens out, uh, you couldn't put the ducks in here because uh, they just love mud. I don't know what they would do in here. Maybe they'd live, I don't know. But they love mud and there's no mud in here, so I don't know. Those chickens aren't making any eggs though, these are ducks. I don't know why duck eggs aren't more popular. Except, like I say, it's they love mud. You'd have to, you can't hardly keep them in a factory the way they do with chickens, an egg factory. This is the feeder that I want to build for outdoors, and uh, clearly I can do it for less than three hundred dollars. It's going to take. Of course, I'm going to make it small. Make it probably half that size. Uh, and then it'll be fourteen dollars for the pipe, and then <clears throat> two by fours, probably two two by fours would be uh, sixteen dollars, and then uh, the pan I might use that one pan that like I showed you.